Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, April 23, 2024. May God be with you today and may His peace be with you continually. And may His face continue to shine upon you and your families. Our reading today comes to us from John chapter 12, reading from verse 20 to 26. And it says, And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that eateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words and we pray that the Holy Spirit will give us clarity and understanding this morning. And may he bless us as we continue to seek his face. Now here we see where some Greek came to see Jesus and Philip and Andrew relayed a message to Jesus but immediately Jesus start to speak about his upcoming death or his impending death and he used the illustration saying that unless the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die it abided alone but if it die it will bring much fruit now what is the understanding from this think about a seed in order for a seed to grow that seed must die that's basically what it is saying here so if the seed does not die it can't grow isn't that a miracle through the process of death comes life and that is why as christian we have to die to self the bible said that we go down into the grave spiritually and we are risen up with new life so dying to self is a must so that what that is what that verse is saying that we so christ was saying that in order for us to have eternal life in order for uh, the fruits to come forth who is the fruits us then he has to face death and that is why he came and so he went on to explain that he that love is life we lose it so if we are afraid to to die if we don't want to die to self if we don't want to die if we don't want to put off our old man and put on the new man in Christ then we are going to lose our life if we are willing to lose our life if we are willing to give up this world to give up the things of this world that goes against every principle that God wants to to instill in us then he's saying that we will gain eternal life by doing that and so 
we are encouraged in the word of God that what? If any man wish to follow me, then he would have to deny himself, take up his cross, and follow Jesus, even to the point of death. So self has to be crucified. But he doesn't stop there. He went on to say that what? If any man serve him, if any man serve him God, then what? One day he will be honored. And what this scripture tell us? That we will receive what? A new name. We will what? Have a new robe. We will what? Have a crown. And the ultimate reward will be eternal life and spending eternity with God. But if we are not willing to give up the things of this world, if we are not willing to deny ourselves, then this privilege cannot be ours. So we need to search to see whether or not Christ is in us. And we need to beg him to make us indifferent. We need to ask him to help us not to become consumed by the things of this life that will draw us away from him, but that he will help us to serve him and to walk with him willingly. And that is why it is important that each of us have to search God for ourselves. No one can force you to do so. Out of love for God, you have to make that decision. What someone can do is encourage you, but the choice ultimately is yours. And so, as we consider the reading this morning, I pray that we will allow ourselves to die in Christ so that we can rise in Christ with new life. May God continue to bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.